I'm the best fighter in the world. No one even comes close. I heard him talking that talk. CM Punk, keep my name out of your mouth or else you're gonna get beaten like never before. Challenging me for WrestleMania. Who the hell do you think you are? Do I accept? Tell you what, buy a ticket to see me in Vegas for NLW and I'll give you an answer. Connor is a huge draw for us. As for CM Punk, he is contracted to Metal Wrestling, so under any other circumstances, he would not be allowed to compete at NLW's WrestleMania. However, I will sanction the match between himself and Connor, providing McGregor wishes to accept the challenge. And, um, what about Kenny Omega? Have you got an update on him and his suspension? <laughs> well, I think you should ask Shawn Michaels about that one. Kenny Omega? Oh, yeah. I remember him. Don't expect him to show up in Vegas. He is still suspended indefinitely for putting his hands on me. What kind of NLW commissioner would all HBK be if I tolerated that, huh? I have more important business to attend to, such as finding new women's talent that can challenge Ronda Rousey. Ronda Rousey is a one-of-a-kind athlete. She's proven herself in the UFC, and now she's continuing to change the game in NLW. Ty Conti, she's a brave woman for accepting that challenge. But let's face it, the reason Metal's roster is so stacked is because if they signed here, Ronda would destroy them. Let's talk about um, Lethal Lockdown too, shall we? Oh man, where do you want to start with that? I'm very happy that the Undisputed Era showed up at Metal Wrestling to put those metal guys in their place. And the same thing is going to happen at Lethal Lockdown. Boys and girls, it's almost time for Lethal Lockdown. And uh, finally, we settle this beef we have with Metal Wrestling. But uh, to be honest, I thought we'd already settled it. After all, we broke John Cena's neck and he comes back. I beat Stone Cold Steve Austin 1-2-3 and as far as Finn Balor goes, he wasn't man enough to be in the Undisputed Era, quite frankly, and I'm glad he didn't join. And CM Punk... You've decided to be a hero. Big, big mistake. You and all your buddies are going to be bloodied and battered come lethal lockdown at Revival. Uh, hey, Adam, uh, you know the other match against, uh, what's his name you got in Vegas? Man of the Hour or something? Leopold? Larry? Oh, Leo Rush? Oh, of course, Leo. Welcome to NLW. We got a little match of our own, don't we, in Vegas? Uh, uh, because it seems that you're also the kind of guy to stick your nose where it doesn't belong. Uh, so how about I do you a favor and have someone else force you into retirement for a change, huh? I know Adam Cole very well. He can pretend to not be aware of who I am, but I know he knows me damn well. And as for sticking my nose in his business, I just don't like seeing injustice play out. So I'm not going to sit by and let it happen. Four on one, you want to jump me? Backstage, fine. But when it's me and Adam Cole one on one, it'll be a lot different. He's probably looking past me to a lethal lockdown. You know, I get it, but... I want his whole focus when I kick his head off and beat his ass at NLW 103 in Vegas. Just like Finn Balor did to you chumps last week. Yeah, Finn Balor, he's a chump. And you know what? We will kick his ass. Just like we'll kick the ass of anyone who steps in our way, including Leo Rush, including Metal Wrestling, Lethal Lockdown, we show why the Undisputed Era is the most dominant force in No Limits Wrestling, and we put an end to Metal Wrestling, and we'll put an end to you, Leo, at NLW 103, and that's not just a fact, that is undisputed. Finn Balor had a golden opportunity to be an NLW superstar, but he threw it all away to join that second-rate Metal Wrestling Good riddance. I hope he's torn to shreds in Lethal Lockdown, and whatever is left can be finished off at WrestleMania. The prince is coming for the throne, but the true king is standing right here. Royal blood will be shed at Lethal Lockdown, but Finn Balor, please don't do anything I wouldn't do in that match. As I look down at the world from 25,000 feet above, it becomes more and more apparent to me that I was always in control of my own destiny. I was always above it all. I was always better than everybody else. I tried to please people, do what was right, and that is the path that the Prince has gone down now, fighting for metal wrestling. But while he tries to be noble, the Antichrist 
of professional wrestling continues to prosper. In the name of our higher power, I'm the Ministry of Darkness. Whatever is left of you, Finn, at WrestleMania, your fairy tale story comes to an end at the hands of your unholy NLW champion, Jeff Hardy. Will Finn Balor show his face in Vegas? We are yet to find out. But whilst Jeff Hardy is planning on taking care of him, I must take care of some business of my own. Speaking of Vegas, Undertaker, you seem to be a gambling man. Because last week, you walked out and took a big risk by betraying your brothers, the Ministry. And the higher power is displeased. He enlisted you to work for him, and you have deserted him and us in our hour of need. I expect you to show up and explain yourself, for we have taken care of the Kane problem for you. We locked him in a casket. We burned him alive. So the least you can do is come down to the ring in Las Vegas and explain your actions. And if the higher power is not satisfied, he will not hesitate to bury you alive in the Nevada desert. Undertaker, you will rest in peace if you do not explain yourself and I will tell you this personally I think you're a piece of crap and I don't think you deserve to be in the ministry but let's hope for your sake that our higher power is more forgiving or well, you still want to talk about lethal lockdown why don't we talk about what's happening in Vegas sir? Stone Cold Steve Austin, the metal wrestling president himself, will be invited to NLW to compete in our main event against the prize fighter Kevin Owens. He is sadistic. He is ruthless. He is a man I have tangled with in the past, and I would much rather have him on my side than against me, just like he's going to be against you, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Kevin Owens does my bidding, and he will tear you apart. So, uh... Stone Cold Steve Austin thinks of himself as the big bad sheriff of metal wrestling. Here's a little history lesson for you. I was also once in charge of metal wrestling, and the power that came with it was intoxicating. So if Austin wants to fight inside Lethal Lockdown, fight for his team, his company against the Undisputed Era, more power to him. I get it. But what I don't get is why Austin has decided to continue to provoke me. Do you know who I am? I'm the guy that ran over Triple H and took him out of the business. I did that to him, and still, I work for him and help him. So just imagine what I'm going to do to Stone Cold Steve Austin, someone I don't respect, someone I despise. Austin, with metal wrestling, you're trying to take money from me. You're trying to take food off of my family's table, starting this company war, and I won't rest until Stone Cold Steve Austin and metal wrestling are a long lost memory in professional wrestling. In Vegas, you step into my ring, but you will not step out of it until I've beaten and bloodied you. See you in Las Vegas, Mr. Rattlesnake. NLW 103 comes to Las Vegas, Nevada. Adam Cole goes one-on-one -on -one with the man of the hour, Leo Rush. Conor McGregor responds to the challenge made by CM Punk. Ty Conti battles women's champion Rowdy Ronda Rousey. And in the main event, Kevin Owens faces metal wrestling president Stone Cold Steve Austin. Plus, will The Undertaker show up in Vegas after walking away from the ministry last week? Check it out in two weeks' time for NLW 103 live from Las Vegas.